Hello, my brilliant preschool buddies. I am so happy to see you in this video that is brought to you by Reschool and Yamema. The following few videos is going to be all about your school day. This lesson has two parts. The first part is going to be about yesterday, today and tomorrow. This is not covered in your lesson, but I want us to have a look at them to make it easier for you as we are still going to use them and it can be confusing. To make it easier, I'm going to look at yesterday, today and tomorrow first and then we will look further at the days of the week in part two where you will use the words yesterday, today and tomorrow. But first, let's see what you already know or how good you are at guessing. Can you tell me what is today? Is it A. It happened in the past B. It is a future day or C. It is happening right now or on this day. That's right. Today is happening right now or will happen within the next 24 hours. Today is this day that is happening right now. It started at one minute past midnight and it will end at midnight tonight. The whole 24 hours is today. I'm going to play football today. I'm going to school today. It's my birthday today. The whole day long. Now, when was yesterday? Is it A, the day after today? B, the day before today? C, it is earlier today? Or D, it is the day after tomorrow? That's right, it's the day before today. This means it's already happened. It is in the past. What did you do yesterday? I played football yesterday. We went shopping yesterday. We went to school yesterday. It is finished and done. Complete the sentence. Tomorrow is... Is it A. Two days after today? B. Is never going to happen? C. The day after today? Or D. The day before today? That's right. It's the day after after today. This sounds a bit confusing. Let's pull up the calendar and see if you understand. These days that are crossed out are the days that are past. They're all part of yesterday. This one day that is circled is today. 
everything that happens on this date is today. But when the clock strikes 12, it is a new day. And this day becomes yesterday. Like Cinderella, the coach turned into a pumpkin and the ball is passed and she only has one shoe. The other shoe stays with yesterday. Today is a new day, like we say in English. And now Cinderella needs to get back to work. So at 12 o'clock, today becomes yesterday. What happens if something is happening the day after today? Then it is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow starts at 12 o'clock midnight. If something is happening tomorrow, it is nice to know so we can prepare. For instance, if you have a test tomorrow, you need to study today. Or if you have football practice, you need to make sure your football uniform is clean and your kit is ready. Tomorrow is still coming. Yesterday is gone. Today is now. And tomorrow is coming. Easy peasy English. Remember this for our next lesson. We are going to use it there. Let's jump over to part two. So we can practice using the words yesterday, today and tomorrow.